How is it to be back in Frankfurt? Um, well, it's great. I, I was talking to someone earlier today and realized this is my 10th uh, Frankfurt. Uh, so I've been for a few. I wasn't able to come last year, so um, I've missed a year. And coming back, it feels uh, it feels exciting. I feel like there's a lot of energy around the fair this year. It just opened up, but um, it bodes well for a really productive week. And you know, I think that energy ebbs and flows um, depending upon year. And it, there seems like there's a lot of enthusiasm right now. I think that. Publishers have often have moved from a deer in the headlights to you know these, this digital transition and what's happening to a point where they've, they're starting to get their bearings and you can see real momentum and movement being yeah. built. I mean, yeah. how worried should the publishing industry be by the sort of merging of Penguin and Random House and sort of the Amazon emergence and other things? I mean, how worried? I mean, I think that these are challenges. There's no question about it. But um, I think there's always. Uh, challenges like this and if it's not a penguin random house merger which creates a lot of chatter or um, Amazon where people are concerned about its power um, it, there are other challenges in those places if you if you sort of manage those it doesn't feel to me like we're under the same kind of siege that we were before I think that um, some of our challenges have now crystallized and I think once you start to see that challenge um, you can start to address it which I think makes people a lot less anxious when we had these amorphous challenges that were kind of circling around and and no one really understood yet understood them well enough yet to to put something into place exactly yeah. so actually it feels more hopeful now than I think it has in a, for years. Wow. And so what are your expectations for the industry in the next 12 months though? Well I think that um, I think that ebooks sort of mat have, having matured is a big transition. I think that we've all been riding a kind of initial wave and the next phase of that, I think educational publishing um, digitally is making huge steps right now. And I think over 12 months, the next 12 months, we'll probably see a rapidly evolving landscape when it comes to digital education materials, how ubiquitous they are, how easy it is. It could very well be something similar to that rise of ebooks with the launch of the Kindle. Um, and I'm really excited for it. Okay.